Right, so there's this great scene in This Is The End where you guys put together a fake trailer for Pineapple Express 2. So we kind of wanted to ask you what your ideas would be for doing uh, fake sequels to some of the other films. Okay. Right? Oh, okay. Kicking it off with Superbad. Where would you imagine a fake sequel to that going? Uh, you go to college? Go to college, college, and the Predator comes to hunt McLovin yeah. because he mistakes him for a legendary warrior. Or you do just the cop spin-off movie. Yeah, we talked about that. It's me and Bill Hader. Have you actually talked seriously about that, or is that not seriously? No, but we've talked about it. You're <laughs> unlikely to get a serious answer this whole yeah. interview. <laughs> and like when you were younger, like because you obviously you started writing super bad when you were about thirteen years old. Did you have any ideas there for what it might spin off into? Or? No, we never, we never, we've never been huge sequel guys. I mean, <laughs> we we like to just laugh at what we're doing yeah. and if you're just rehashing the same one joke, it's it a little dull. It's true, yeah. Except for maybe Pineapple Express yeah, 2 Yeah, Pineapple's day. the one that we that we most seriously have talked about sequelizing. Is that a word? Yes. And yes, so it is now. If you were to sequelize Pineapple Express <laughs> 2, would it be anything like what we see in... The that well, yeah, that it, is the literal... It is, like, walk. we did sit down a few years ago and we're like, what would the story for Pineapple Express 2 be? And that is the actual <laughs> story that we came up with. So it was kind of like a test, uh, you know, a test run for it. People seem to laugh at it, so it's good. The idea conceptually seems funny. And yeah. And um, would you actually want to have Woody Harrelson? Of course, we definitely. Absolutely, we heard he saw the movie recently and liked it, which yeah. is a, a good step in the right direction. We didn't mean anything insulting. We were just yeah. hoping he'd laugh. Yeah. But yeah, Woody Harrelson as Woody Harrelson. And how about the Green Hornet? Have you guys thought about any ideas for? It's all about Cato. We I died. We, we, yeah. I die in the first scene of the movie, and Cato avenges. And his ghost, co- his movie. ghost comes back every yeah, now and then exactly. to give him key I advice and important ghost. moments. Cato, keep going. Yeah. And how about this is the end? Obviously, being the end, it's quite difficult. But I mean, even if you could do, say, like a prequel or some sort of spinoff. Could you oh no, we could do a sequel. We've discussed doing the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Or Jay we thought, and Seth repopulate the world. Or we <laughs> thought of a movie that starts at the premiere for This Is the End. And it takes place at like the premiere party for this at the end, and maybe another apocalyptic <laughs> event happens, and it's just a crazy coincidence. That is a pretty good idea. It's not a bad idea, right? Uh, and what kind of celebrities were there any that you didn't get to kill this time around that you'd sort of be interested? Oh yeah, we we just got started. There's tons of celebrities to kill. Yeah, you name them, we'll kill them. <laughs> yep. Paul Rudd might still be alive. Exactly, he, we could kill him. We could finally kill finally Rudd. get his ass. <laughs> and. Uh, it's not a film you guys wrote, but you both produced it, Knocked Up. Have you ever thought about where you could see Ben going if he got his own spin-off film? The, another sort of sequel to Knocked Up? <laughs> he has triplets. I have triplets. <laughs> with myself. It's, and you, it says triple the trouble on yeah. the poster. It's about me getting impregnated, like in yeah. Junior. Knocked Up 2. Re- Re-pregnated? Re-pregnated. <laughs> yeah. We'll figure it out soon.